Alright guys, today we're going to be cutting a bone-in rib, and I didn't mention this before, but this is a 10-inch scimitar, the new knife I got. So, in case you're wondering uh, where to get these, I'll put a link in the description. thing you want to do is chime off this rib right here. You only take it maybe a quarter, maybe a half inch off that. Sometimes this little end bone right here kind of protrudes out a little bit. So you can usually just come in and cut that out. There we go. I have to cut too deep on that. So get that nice and squared up. Like that. If this is too thick, you can leave some of this fat on here, but if it's too thick on there, you can always skim that off. Tell you guys, I'm really loving this handle compared to, uh, to my old wooden one. Um, right here on the spine, it's uh, kind of really tough on your uh, on your fingers to kind of work with a little bit. So uh, I'm definitely like how like it, how kind of kind of thinner and smoother this this handle is on this knife. So I've been using this one here for probably five six years now, and I'm definitely wishing I would have gotten this one a lot sooner. Alright, next thing we're going to go take it to the bandsaw and cut in between these ribs.
this next thing you want to do is trim off a little of this fat. Um, you want to leave as, uh, as much on there as you can without having it look too over, overly fatty. So I'll show you what I mean here in a sec. So that right there is a perfect chuck-in rib steak. Look at that thing. Prime grade, man. That thing is beautiful. About an inch and a half thick. If you're cutting these for any kind of uh, meat shop, they usually have a stag rim. Uh, one group going this way, one group going that way, back and forth. It just makes it look better uh, the presentation. Guys, we're all done. Now all we have to do is spray it up and uh, make it look nice in the display. So when you're training these up, as I mentioned before, so one ear going left, one right, back and forth, all the way down. Most meat shops like it like this, so you're just uh, learning. That's uh, what a lot of shops like. So every, every shop's different though. That's just what we like here. This doesn't look very good all going like one direction. Retrain these. You have uh, older ones you need to put on there. You just, on your last layer, you can start from the bottom, work your way up. So put the old ones on. Hopefully, the day before you have to go. Never want to. Uh, never want to tray these with the uh, that bone showing. And if you if both sides look like that, pick the best side to display. So uh, that side looks better than this side. Because what's going to happen is that bone right there is going to start to turn you know, like brown or like a black. It's not going to look very good. guys and we're all done what do you think well I need to get back to work and kick you guys out of here and I will see you on the next episode